What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto 49er bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Just a reminder, I give away $5 in Litecoin or $10 if it's from CryptoBridge every Friday. In order to win, you need to answer a trivia question that I put up on Wednesday. Alright, on to today's topic. So today I want to talk about updating the Ledger Nano to 1.4 firmware. First of all, I have to say, if you need access to your coins, coin swap, airdrops within the next 24 to 48 hours, hold off on the update right now because for me, I have not one, not just one Legend Nano S, I have two Legend Nano S. So if I screw up on one of them, I still have a backup. So this is one of those things that I made up an excuse for me to buy a second one just to say, oh, I didn't really, you know, I, I think I might have wrote down the, the 24 word passphrase incorrectly. And the only way for me to test that is moving all the cryptocurrency off and moving it back on. So I felt like I didn't want to pay that extra amount. So I'm like, let me just get a second one anyway. Because every time you move the transact, you move your cryptocurrency back and forth, you're paying a little bit of the mining fee. So I didn't want to do that. I'd rather get an extra Legend Nano S. And it just so happened I was able to buy one during the Black Friday sale last year for quite a bit of discount. But if you only have one Legend Nano S, yeah, definitely hold off on this update. So anyway, I found out about this update through the email that I got from them today, this morning, literally, they say that the first thing I looked it up there, I was like, hey, okay, that sounds interesting. But the one of the first thing that I read was the number of apps which can be loaded onto Nano S at the same time has been raised to up to 18. I was like, wow, 18? Because we currently only can do five. So this is more than three times. I was like, this is awesome. Let me go ahead and load that, do this right now. So I went on the website and they already have instructions, step by step instructions. There's also FAQ, so you want to read through all the information on the FAQ as well. When you read through the FAQ, you realize this firmware is actually mandatory because they say right now strongly recommended after March 20th, you have to upgrade. It's a mandatory upgrade by March 20th. So I'm guessing your current firmware ledger wouldn't work after March 20th. So that kind of sucks, you know, they kind of pushing it really tight because it's only like two weeks. You know, you would think that they give people more time, but I guess they really want people to update the Legend Nano S. And then you read a little bit more in terms of how you can actually fit 18 apps in there. It turns out, because a lot of the different blockchains are just clones of uh, Bitcoin, it's like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Code, Litecoin, Dogecoin, what they did is they refactored the code for the Bitcoin app so that all these other applications that you use will also use the code from the Bitcoin app itself. So that's why you're able to fit up to 18 apps onto your Legend Nano S if cryptocurrency that you use are forks of Bitcoin. But if you have cryptocurrency that are not Bitcoin clones like Ethereum, Ripple, or if you have like a FIDO U2F or a password manager, then you still only have five. You still can only install five apps. So that's really disappointing. But hey, you know what? What can you do? I think most people will be able to increase their number of apps by at least one or two at the minimum. Because even for me, I was able to install more than five now because I do have I did use Litecoin, Bitcoin, and even Hcash, so those are all similar. So that's why I think for most people, you'll be able to get more than five onto your Legend Nano S. All right, so let's go through the installation process for the Legend Nano S to update the firmware to 1.4. I wouldn't have made this video normally because I would say Ledger is really good in terms of their instructions on updates, on instructions on basically everything. But I think for this particular set of instructions, it's a little bit lacking, and that's the reason why I'm making this video. So first of all, before you follow the instructions from them, you want to open your Legend Manager, which lets you manage all the apps on your Legend Nano S and delete all the applications there. So don't worry, for people that are not aware, your cryptocurrency are fine. They're not stored on the Legend Nano S, they're stored on the blockchain and your 24 word passphrase will recover it. And even in this case, you know, updating the firmware won't reset your Legend Nano S. So you don't even need to retype in your 24 word passphrase if you don't think that you wrote them down correctly, that is. So for this firmware update, you should be fine. But anyway, you just need to remove all your apps. The main reason is because all your apps are gonna be useless anyway because they do not work with the 1.4 firmware update. So they have new versions for all these apps that work specifically for the 1.4 firmware update. So there's really no reason to keep any of the apps on your Legend Nano S. It'll probably be faster by giving the Legend Nano S more room by emptying out all the applications first. So go ahead and do that first before you follow the set instructions. So once you have deleted all your apps, then you can go ahead and follow the instructions, which is um, go to the firmware section over here, or even on the bottom of this, of the Ledger Manager, they'll tell you there's a firmware update. So you click on that, it'll bring you to the firmware section. And you want, to, you want to click on the 1.4 firmware to install and go ahead and go through the installation process. We'll actually ask you to click 
click on the allow legend manager first so on your legend nano s and then then it will um, go through the installation process and you wouldn't get this error message anymore because this is the one this is an insufficient remaining space again it's like i told you to uninstall all the apps so you wouldn't even get this error message and then you go ahead and uh, update the firmware i'll tell you the firmware version 1.41 the identifier which is exactly the same as the picture here because this is the firmware identifier that you know for sure that your firmware that you're downloading is correct you'll see this identifier several times on the ledger manager and on your Legend Nano S, you just want to make sure that they both match the screen. So once that's done, it will reset your Legend Nano S. You have to retype in the pin code again, and then it'll tell you the MCU firmware is outdated. I don't know why they call it MCU firmware. It's not Marvel Comic Universe, last I checked anyway. So what you're supposed to do is disconnect your Legend Nano S, hold down the left button, and plug it back in. And what, what that does is it'll bring you to the bootloader screen and then that will update the MCU. So it says restoring MCU in here. Once that's done, your Legend Nano S should now show the update on the screen and it should go through the installation firmware process. And for me, this is where I got stuck. I got this error message instead, unable to install firmware. And then I disconnected my Legend Nano S, closed out the Legend Manager, opened the Legend Manager again, plug it back in, I got back the update screen on the Legend Nano S and it'll go do the installation firmware again and I'll get back to this error message again. This happened to me like four times and I'm just like, I was kind of frustrated. I was like, what's going on? So first thing I did was I went on Twitter and just complained obviously <laughs> saying that the update process doesn't work. I'm getting this error message and I'm just telling the Ledger team to, you might want to consider your March 20th mandatory update date. So the next thing I then I went to is the forums on Reddit and reading that there were over 199 comments about all these people that are having the same kind of issues they are stuck in the update screen same problem same problem so and there's a separate thread that's already increasing comments as well now the 14 comments also complaining that they also stuck at update but fortunately there are solutions in here that i found so for me i'm on the mac so what i did was unplug the legend nano s and then go through the restore mcu process again and then once I went through the restore CPU process, it will show up to update. And this time, your ledger manager says to begin, it will show this screen, to begin connect your ledger wallet. And this is where you're supposed to leave it. So at this point, let it be, don't touch anything for about five minutes. I think I've read a post even from the CEO himself. So actually it's right here. So it says, if you're stuck in update mode, unplug and replug the device while pressing the left button. The manager is under a lot of low right now. So if it doesn't sync, just try again after a few minutes. It's extremely unlikely that your device is bricked. So what happened is, as long as you don't unplug it, it'll eventually connect and complete the installation process. That's all it took. So as long as you follow that little bit of instructions from the Ledger CEO that wasn't listed in the instruction here to wait about five minutes, your installation process should be fine. But I'm sure a lot of people are just going through the process of trying to get the Ledger Nano S to connect with the ledge manager by disconnecting, reconnecting, and not realizing that that's actually causing it to not work. So that's basically what it is. If you're on Windows, I was reading that so for some users, it might be because there's a USB device driver issue. You might get a little yellow thing on the USB installation. You have to go click on that to fix it. On the Mac, I didn't have this issue. Once I read this message, figured out that I let it sit for about five minutes in this screen here, and get it to eventually install the firmware and then you'll see that it says installing firmware and it'll get to processing and actually it will work and then again reboot your Legend Nano S again you say to retype your pin code again and afterwards you can then go to the settings section and go to fir device firmware confirm that your secure element is 1.41 and confirm that your MCU is at 1.5 even though the screenshot shows 1.4 that's basically the installation process after I installed it this is my overall experience after the update. The app installation is a lot slower. And again, remember, none of the apps from the previous firmware works with the current firmware, so you only gonna get the settings screen once you update your firmware. So I went through the installation process for Bitcoin and all these other apps, and it was just so much slower. I would say, like each app install probably took like minutes. I remember when I first got my Legend Nano S, like installing an app took like 30 seconds, tops maybe even a little bit less, but it's around there. So now it feels like it's three, four, five times slower. So, and another thing is apps fail to install more often. I don't even remember if I got this error message before. This is 
now I'm seeing this on a regular basis. Unable to install application. If the problem persists, contact Ledger support. Then the weird thing is, sometimes the, uh, the app won't install actually. So when you get this error message, the app won't, doesn't show up on the Ledger Nano S. But there were times I got this error message, but the app actually showed up on the Ledger Nano S and I think the app's working. So I don't even know why I'm getting that error message, but it's not that good. So the other thing I get was sometimes that the Ledger Manager doesn't even show any apps. Just click on the refresh button and it'll refresh the apps and you'll be able to get access to them. I'm just guessing it's because there's a lot of people connecting to the Ledger server and that's the reason why you're not seeing all your apps. So the other thing is if you read through the FAQ, you realize that you need to install apps in alphabetical order to avoid the startup lag. So this startup lag is because if you have more than 10 apps, let's say that all the apps you use are actually clones of Bitcoin and then you're able to install more than 10 apps. During the launch process, after you type in your PIN code, it will actually freeze for a couple of seconds and then it will lower up all the apps because of the way the apps were installed. So if you only install your apps in the alphabetical order, you'll actually see that freeze up every single time you type in your passcode. So that kind of sucks, so you have to install in alphabetical order. They say this is a bug that they will fix in the next update, so hopefully they'll fix it very soon. Um, I don't have the experience right now, I only have 6 apps because yes, I finally can install more than 5 apps. So I have 6 apps installed right now, I haven't tested the limit. But I think I'm pretty much, I won't be able to install more than like, probably 7 or 8 apps just because I don't really have a lot of coins that are cloned of Bitcoin. So that's why I think I'll probably only be able to install 7 or 8. So it's not really the 18 which they wrote in the email. So the bottom line is this. I would say wait about a week before updating to see if they will release an update to this update. There's definitely room for improvement in terms of the app installation speed, which is really slow. The prompts, like the prompts you get right now, I mean, this may not be the next update, but it might be down the line, where if there's actually a prompt on the Legend NOS screen, they can invert the color back and forth to simulate blinking. So I've seen these in a lot of the older devices, like if you guys have beepers, if you know what beepers are back in the 1980s, you would know that they actually have this blinking mode so that you would know that you have to respond to something on the device. And if they could do that on the Legend Nano S, that would be great because the Legend Nano S doesn't beep, doesn't have the device to make it vibrate like a cell phone does. And right now, I don't really know which cryptos I've installed. That's one of the things, like, I, you know, hopefully they'll update that. I'm really looking forward to the Ledger desktop that they have announced a couple of weeks ago. They have going to have a new Ledger wallet desktop and it's going to be able to show you all the cryptos that you have added onto Legend Nano S even without actually opening up or connecting your Legend Nano S. At least that's why I read from this article. I think it sounds great. Looking forward to seeing it come out. But this one come out to Q2 of 2018. So that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.